Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here, and today we are answering your questions. Today's question comes from Jordan Sorrell. Hopefully I said that right. I'm really bad with names. He said, hey, Matt. Hey, Jordan. Love the videos and your perspective on the game. Question for you. What was the biggest clutch hit of your career, high school, college, minors, or majors? All right. So I had to do some digging, unfortunately. It would have been nice if it just popped into my head. Like I had that David Ortiz moment. Or maybe even that Joe Carter moment. That would be cool. Unfortunately, I don't. So I went through every level of my career, starting from when I was little, little, itty bitty Matt, until I was uh, much bigger Matt. And I wrote them all down right here. And so we're gonna go through all these and talk about not only my most clutch hit of my career, but we're also, because I usually do this in videos, unfortunately most of my videos are like this, we're gonna talk about my least clutch moment of my career, which still really bothers me. And maybe I should do some research and go back and figure out what the hell was going on during this um, time, during this game. We'll talk about it in a second. Okay, so let's go through the list right here. Now, start with the first thing. Now, this is odd. I don't remember ever getting a walk-off hit in my career at any level. I don't remember hitting a ball and winning the game and being able to celebrate after that hit. Um, maybe, is that weird? I feel like in my entire career, I should have something, some type of walk-off. I'm not talking about a walk-off homer. That would be awesome. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about a walk-off hit. Now, I do remember there were times where I had the opportunity. We'll talk about that again in a little bit in my least clutch. Um, but we'll start with that. I don't remember any walk-off hits, all right? But the biggest clutch hit of my life, I remember this vividly. And I should actually, maybe I'll do this if you want. Put in the comment section below. I should ask my dad about this because he remembers it even more than me. I think he still talks about it today. But the biggest clutch hit of my life came when I was 15 years old. And it was in Babe Ruth All-Stars to send us to the World Series. So... Let me give you some background in case you don't know what Babe Ruth is. I think most of you probably do. Babe Ruth. So you've got Little League, right? Everyone kind of knows what Little League is. Little League is when you're 12 or younger. And then when you leave Little League and you're playing for your town, you go to Babe Ruth. At least where I'm from, you go to Babe Ruth. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's around the country. I'm pretty sure most states will have Babe Ruth. Let me know below if you have Babe Ruth or don't. So Babe Ruth for us goes 13, 14, and 15 years old. And so I'm from Peabody, Massachusetts, and our team was very good. When I was 13 years old, we went to the Babe Ruth World Series, which was like the top, I think, like eight Babe Ruth teams in the country. Um, then when I was 14 years old, we went back to the Babe Ruth World Series and we won. So we were the, I don't know, the Babe Ruth national champion. And then 15-year-old year, we went back to the Babe Ruth World Series. So we ended up having that team starting when we were 13. Um, I was on that team, and a player named Jeff Allison was on that team. He was a first-round pick. He, at one point, was considered the best pitcher in the country. Um, we also had a player, Mark Shorey, who ended up playing in AAA and was a great, great player. We had lots of great players. I'm not going to go through all, the, all of our players, but we had a lot of draft picks. Uh, we had a lot of professional, future professional players. And I got a cup of coffee. I don't like coffee, but I got a cup of coffee in the major league. So we had a major league player on that team. So I, I, this is, might take a little while, not a little while, but maybe you're not interested in this story, but I have to set it up, okay? So you go back to 13-year-old year. I made the Babe Ruth All-Star team, but I also played travel ball for Lightning Baseball. And what happened was we ended up starting the Babe Ruth All-Star season, and we were doing well, but some parents, I guess, were upset that I was missing a few things. I was missing some practices to go play for my travel ball team. I don't remember missing any games, but I missed some practices. And so the coaches approached me and said, hey, listen, you're going to have to choose. You're either going to have to play for us or you're going to go play travel ball. But you can't do both because, you know, people are upset that you're not 100% dedicated. And I said, okay. So my dad and I, we talked about it. And we went and played travel ball. 
and did that instead of the Babe Ruth All-Stars. Um, Travel Ball was, was a little bit better competition. Um, I had paid for it a decent amount, so I, I don't think I was going to quit playing after we had already paid for it. Um, but overall, that, that team, the Travel Ball team, was probably just a little bit better of a team. Now, Jeff Allison, who was on my Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth team, was also on my Travel Ball team. So it was a really solid team. Anyways, I went to play Travel Ball, didn't play Babe Ruth. They went to the Babe Ruth World Series, and they ended up losing. The next year, right from the beginning, I had to choose what I wanted to do. And so I chose Travel Ball again. All right. They went back and they won that year. Now, 15-year-old year, I was going to play Travel Ball again. But they said to me, you can come back and play. Why don't you come back and play with us? I right. we'll let you kind of do, do both. And so I did that. Well, we end up making it pretty far again, and we go to the the regionals, I guess you want to call it. And you have to win this regional to go to the World Series for our third straight year. So it was a pretty big deal. Well, I ended up playing on the team, but they didn't play me very much. Like I sat on the bench a lot. Um, and my dad was not very happy about this. And so he told the coach that, uh, apparently he told the coach, like, listen, we're missing like some travel ball stuff to do this. Um, I hope he's playing when we go to the regionals. Like, we're not playing on the team and just sit on the bench when he could be going and playing, you know, for his travel ball team. And they said like, yeah, he'll play. Well, apparently I didn't play. I don't remember this as well because I've played a lot of games in my life, but my dad was not very happy about this. So we go up there. My dad says he shows up and I'm on the bench again. He's irate. He probably storms out. He probably, I don't know, gives the finger to somebody or something like that. And uh, so now we're in the championship game in the regionals and I'm on the bench again. And it's a must-win game. If we don't win, we're out. And it comes down to the very end of the game, and we're down by a run. And we've got, I think we had runners on second and third and two outs, I believe it was. And, uh, and then they call on me to come pinch hit to win the game for us and send us to the Babe Ruth, all, the Babe Ruth uh, World Series. And, uh, and so I went up. And hit a line drive to left field for a single and scored the runs and we ended up winning the game. It wasn't a walk-off. I think we had to go. I think it was probably the top, maybe the top of the last thing. We had to go play defense. But anyways, that was my most cl clutch hit of my career. And it might not sound super exciting. Um, but at the time, it was a huge at-bat because obviously you're, it's, you know, if you think about like Little League, a lot of people think about Little League when it comes to like Williamsport and the Little League World Series. This probably wasn't on the same scale because Little League World Series, I mean, you're on TV and stuff. So it's not on the same scale, but it was a very, very big deal. And it was also a big deal because I was not very happy that I was never playing. I was sitting on the bench all the time. And so it was a big moment for me to be able to get up there and be like, you idiots, why aren't you playing me? <laughs> this is silly. So um, it was a big moment for me. Uh, and so then we won, we went on to the, to the World Series again, the Babe Ruth World Series. So that's the biggest hit of my career. And I'll ask my dad about this. I'll, I'll, I'll get him on. Let me know in the comments if you want to listen to it, because he'll probably tell this story much better because he remembers like all this stuff really well. I was kind of just a little upset that I wasn't playing, but you know, I'm, I'm a kid or whatever, you know, he's, um, he's an adult that's probably screaming and yelling at everyone and really pissed I'm not on the field when he's going to watch me play. All right. Now let's go to my least clutch hit of all time. My least clutch hit of all time was in college, Matt Wake Forest. We're playing Florida State. It's a big game. It's my junior year. Both teams are very good. Florida State's always very good. We were ranked very high my junior year. I think we got to the point where we are like number 12 in the country or something. So it's a big game, okay? We're in extra innings. I hit third. No, I hit... I usually hit first. For some reason, this game, Coach had me hitting fourth. I guess he wanted me to drive in more runs. It never worked out well. We will, we'll get into that another time. I was better at the leadoff. But anyways, they hit me fourth. All right. And they hit Alan Dykstra third. Now, Alan Dykstra was my teammate at Wake Forest. He ended up being a first-round pick the, the two years after I left. So I'm a junior. He's a freshman. And he was very good. Um, ended up playing the major leagues a little bit with the Rays. Big, huge, like six foot four, six foot five, lefty power. And uh, I could tell the first second I saw him come in freshman year, I mean, he was blasting balls over the trees. I was like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? He had ridiculous power. At this point, I mean, it's my junior year. I'm having a, 
I'm having a really, really big year, but I'm starting to slow down towards the end. I, I didn't hit great throw towards the end of the season. And, you know, I'm projected to be a first round pick. We get up in the extra innings. We have a man on third, uh, might have even been second and third, tie score, and they have first base open and they intentionally walk Alan Dykstra to get to me. And I'm heated. I'm on deck and I'm seeing this happen. And I'm seeing them put out the, you know, the hand like this. And I'm like, what? You're going to intentionally walk him to get me to the plate? What are you, an idiot? What an idiot. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, fine. I went up there. Now, this was the problem. This is some advice for all of you. I tried to hit the ball to the moon. I wanted to hit that ball so far, do a, do a Jose Bautista bat flip stare into the dugout at Mike Martin and say, idiot. But unfortunately, I didn't. I think I popped up. I got jammed and I popped up probably because I was taking a swing and my head was like this and I was taking the biggest swing of my life. So it, that's bad. It gets worse. My next time up, now we're in like the, I don't know, now we're in like the 15th inning or something. My next time up, we're in the same situation. Tie score, man on second and third or just third. Alan Dykstra's up. They put their arm out like this. I'm like, I look over there. I'm like, you got to be shitting me. This can't be real life. You're going to intentionally walk him again to get to me? This is disrespectful. The first time, I give, the first time, okay, maybe you made a mistake and you just lost your mind. This is now disrespectful to do this to me. So this time, what's further than the moon? Mars, I try to hit this ball to Mars. I am so pissed right now. I get jammed and I fly out again. Thank God the game ended. If we got to a third time and he did, I would have went home. I was so upset and disappointed that I didn't hit, get a walk-off hit. And uh, so the lesson is don't try to do too much. A single there would have been just fine. I didn't have to hit it to the Mars or to the moon or to Mars, but I wanted to. And it didn't work out. So that was my least clutch of all time. I, there wasn't a whole lot of times in my life that they intentionally walked the guy before me to get to me. I remember it happened in the minor leagues one time. I remember one off season. I had a great year too. It was in 2007. I had a great year, but I don't know why they intentionally walked someone to get to me. And uh, I remember I worked out that whole off season. And every time I like got tired doing like squats or something, I kept telling myself like, don't let him intentionally walk someone again to get to you next year. That was like my motivation for a whole year. Unfortunately, that next year I sucked. All right. So, um, yeah, so I put, the, I put all these things. High school, I had a lot of big hits in high school. I mean, I hit like almost 700 in high school, but I, don't, I didn't hit any walk-offs. A lot of big hits. No, I mean, there were clutch hits in there. But when I'm thinking clutch uh, for this video, I'm just thinking like walk-offs, right? Um, or basically walk-offs. And then in the minors, again, some big situations and stuff, but not super clutch. And in the minors, nobody really goes nuts about winning anyway. So even if you get a big hit in the minors, like people get excited, but you probably won't remember it for the rest of your life. And then in the major leagues, hell, I was just trying to get hits, never mind clutch hits. So nothing in the major leagues. So that's my most clutch hit of my career. Um, thank you, Jordan. And again, doesn't matter where you get them. Even if you get them in Little League or Babe Ruth or whatever, you'll always remember them. I've had a lot of at-bats, but I still remember that Babe Ruth at-bat. That was awesome. They should have played me more. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. You want some? I knew you'd go. Hey, Mom! The meatloaf! If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're gonna to wanna to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you wanna go check it out.